fingertips away, and here we go, Ayato Yoshida. When we last saw this man, he was still in his mid-20s, wrestling in 2018 and 2019. And now feeling much more matured as an individual and as a professional wrestler, wants to show up and show out, does so. Big time Lariat, down goes Toriano. Had a brief, brief chat with Yoshida earlier on today. And certainly he said he feels as if he has a point to prove. Almost a chance for him to make up for lost time, especially against a man who beat him during the World Tag League of 2018. It was Ishii and Yano defending the team of Yoshida and Shota Umino. See Shota Umino later on tonight. Teaming with John Marksley to face scapegoat Jack Perry and Ren Narita. That's going to be a wild one. Five championship matches still to come at the top of the hour here on NJPW World. Look at that. Boot closes the distance. Here's the cover. Two and no. Tommy Harishi kicks out. And as I said, everybody on the 2AW side wants to stand out in their own right. And they have their own individual egos to take care of. Yoshida just recently challenged Nikki for the 2AW Openweight Championship and came short. Former champion himself is Yoshida. So it's not like everybody on his side is best pals with him. But Ishii and his crosshairs there and a buzzsaw kick. You can see certainly Nikki and Shoki they're out here on the floor in the corner should Yoshida need it. But Yoshida has been on a world tour of sorts as a TMDK member ever since last summer. Man, beautiful to Harris. Learning everywhere he goes. New elements, new wrinkles to his game, such as this. Unbelievable natural athlete, Tope. No. Toguchi out the way. Fujita won't be denied. And breaking the onion bag was Kosei Fujita down the apron line. Boy. And, well, I'm sure the boss, Shacho Tanahashi, working color for a Japanese announce table, has to appreciate, acknowledge that chop. Now look at Fujita, spring, board, swan, time. Unbelievable, Chris and smooth as butter, but only gets two at the referee. Confidence was never an issue for Kosei Fujita. And he seems to be only growing in such by the day. Deadlift, strength not an issue either, but sometimes confidence bears a price. Almost paid there, another southpaw chop. Lights up the coach. And, well, this would be, he's thinking of that finisher he likes to call Abandoned Hope debut during Super Junior Tag League alongside Robbie Eagles last year. Distance closed, Enzigiri. Classic to Gooch. As is this, the King of Strange style. Oh, yeah, with the bummer, yay. Here's the cover, Saber. Right in front of your shot there, makes the save. Despe, not to be out there. He's not happy to be second on the billing, even against Hiromu Takashi, but to be wrestling junior heavyweights feels he is beneath him here tonight, and certainly not happy with the reception Hiromi Takahashi is getting here, and there you see the results. Oh, brother. Hiromi Takahashi himself, who is looking to 
Well, pick up a lot of momentum. Suddenly had a, a little shake, was surprised, upset. Lust was pinned by his tag team partner tonight, Bushi Man, Cork Van Hall, this past Wednesday. And was beat by Doki at New Beginning in Sapro. Needs a win, needs a win big. Hopes to get it against Mustafa Ali, hopes to get it against David Finley here tonight. Not looking great for him, but Bushi, with that non-verbal communication that we often talk about with Los Ingobernables de Pont, recognizing his partner was in danger and now being able to be right there and turn this match on the dime. Bushi elevated out the corner. Finley having to fight out of it. We have seen it's an Irish curse strikes to Hiromu. None of Gato in this matchup so far. Here's the cover, gets two. Finley perhaps wrestling with a severe chip on his shoulder in the eagerness to Gato Khan. It starts local. Acting local, think global, right? That's the thought process. And meanwhile, Jeff Cobb has been very vocal about going after really any champion in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Yo Uramura wants some gold around his waist as well. Certainly feels very jealous of Yoda Suji in the main event spot here tonight. And will now grit his teeth to try and take down the Imperial unit, who is not going anywhere. Jeff Cobb, a former Never Openweight champion, former IWGP tag team champion, but uh, certainly is overdue a significant high profile singles championship reign as part of the United Empire and could certainly get it at any moment. Jeff Cobb still knocked off his feet as Burimura tags in Doki to provide an assist. And if one won't do it, perhaps two will. Double shoot off and a pair of drop kicks. Four boots will be what knocks Jeff Cobb down. Knock it down too badly because we do want Jeff Cobb to be talking on the microphones right after this. We'll get to our first of five championship matchups to follow, folks, right after this one. Doki so good at switching levels as he did right there. But, well, there is no level that you can really take down Jeff Cobb from effectively. Perhaps Daybreak might do it. But that is an ambitious proposition. Hoisted is Doki, and well, it's just not fair. Pun the pun yeah. that marked the boom period for junior heavyweight tag team wrestling 10 years ago. And these six young men having exactly that same competitive drive and hard hitting athleticism. Uh oh. Well, that was decidedly low. And up to high, Jack the Jaw of Kevin Knight. Bushi with Maloney now, no, 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 Drill the Killer, no, escaped. Accurate. There you go, Akira. Fireball out of nowhere, TJ inside, blast Maloney with the knee. And all of a sudden, catch 2-2 two, two are up, and we might have to oh, oh, get out oh, the oh. way here. Oh, up high, goes oh. Accurate. And he might have crashed and burned his ankle on the guardrail. TJ, meanwhile, final cut. Stay on him, TJ. Stay on him, TJ. There we go. Well, shoot. Will he score? Mama, Mama splash. splash. That's bit. Countdown, baby. That's one. That's two. A new chance. Hey, um. This has been TJ, a thousand. TJ, stay on him, TJ. Sorry. A thousand miles an hour since the opening bell. And no signs of slowing down. And once again, as soon as you knock one man down, Jeff, there's at least one, if not five, getting ready to hit the ring. Look at that judo cut throw. 
Oh, oh, oh man, oh. that stomp into the center. Oh, oh the Tanaka rings off the chest. Rolling Solbert, here's Kevin Knight. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait a second, wait a second. Kent has, Kent has got the belt, Kent has got the belt in his hands, Jeff. Oh, all's fair in love and war. Now, all's fair when the referee can't see what you're doing, Kenta. My God, gonna bring the skull. No! Caught and dropped. Ushi Golosi. The chase of the benefit of the distraction. Follow, follow again. Blasted by Chase Owens. Sizing him up. C trigger. Denied. Second. Asking. Gets it. Sizes up Goto, bang, no! Hey. Oh, you gotta have eyes in the back of your head, Chase. Especially when you're dealing with the three-time World Tag League winners. The Violent Flash, and now Yoshiasi is calling time, bedtime, on Chase Owens. Shoto means lights out. No! Oh, it's out again. Roll up. Oh, low up. Oh. Nearly got it. Chase Owens doing his home roll. C trigger. C trigger off the top. This would be huge. Cover. Two and a half again. And Chase Owens, to his credit, wrestling a hell of a match against Hiroki Goto here. Chase better stop playing with his little finger gun. Just end this match already. Oh, oh, one more C trigger. <laughs> and this is. Well, you know what? I'm intrigued by this match, all right? Yeah. Former, former IWGP Tag Team Champion, yes? Yes, For indeed. Funky 3K. In fact, the last time. Oh, oh, oh. To a hot start to this one. Yo has stolen away with that IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship, not his, ever since Sho won it by a count out, a new beginning in Sapporo. And Sho has been desperate to get his ill gotten gains back off of his challenger here tonight, Yo. This is a game of tag? It was all the way the gamemanship continued even at our press conference yesterday. Yo, up high, plancha to take down show. We still don't have a bell right here because both men haven't been in the ring at the same time and now here we go, not standing on ceremony. The bell rings, we're underway, direct drive, no, show. Breaks the eyes and, well, this one may not be long for the asking. There's an awful lot of previous and backstory to this matchup. We might not have much time to give it to you. But you're right, the last time the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship changed hands, at least when one man pinned the other, was when Will Ospreay beat Kushida in the Ogoku King of Pro Wrestling 2017. That was the night that Yo and Sho returned from excursion. They went on excursion together and came back together, won IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Championship gold, but Sho turned his back, oh man, on his partner. And that started a long And then when Minoru Suzuki just happened to not be around, well, this kid goes right off the rails. He hasn't learned his lesson quite since but momentarily, whoa. oh my God, John Moxie, whoa, whoa. well, this not is... Not my monitor, not my mo I'm, Wait, do I have to pay for this to the brakes? No, nah, you're good. All right, yeah, go ahead. Get it. This is just a taste of what we're gonna get and what perhaps Red Narrator deserves. Moving on, hoist up Jack Perry face first in a pair of boots to the face. And Jack Perry said, I was once in a position much like yourself, Show Terminal, where I was positioned as a, a young face of my promotion, as a pillar, while Show Terminal was called one of the Three Musketeers. 
Well, he says, you know, I mean, show to him, and all. Jack Perry thinks has been pandering to the audience so much, and that's why he's not gotten results. And now Jack Perry says, well, look at what I'm able to do as part of House of Torch. So, I mean, certainly, you know, I mean, Jeff, at one time, you were kind of Hontai adjacent, and you, you might have felt at times that you were butting against the glass ceiling and then broke free of that to join United Empire. To an extent, you kind of understand where Ren Naruto or Jack Perry come from, but the road they took, very different. The, yeah, the, the path I took was just an opportunity. An opportunity presented itself in the United Empire, and look where we are now. These guys, they just went a totally different route. Like, they're, like, Marina changes this sold out. He sold his soul to the House of Torture. Well, what, a, what a place to sell your soul to, huh? But I mean, of all the things you can say, you can't you certainly can't call Jack Perry coward. No, I mean, I mean, you know, I mean, this guy's certainly been in the news all week. Yeah, this is like Spider-Man all over. That's Dick Togo in the same Bushi mask that he used to help evil to the double IW. There you go. Oh, oh no! The miss backfired. Dick is in here, and now Kanemaru, we've got no referee. And is this legal? Is he? What is going on? How in the world? Does this work? Yes. Presidente. Muy el Presidente. Now, Tanahashi is steaming out here at ringside. The only reason, the only reason I could possibly think Jeff is evil has to have someone on the inside. So sneak Kanemaru his referee's license with zero training, dick to dick contact. That's a dick on dick crime. Is that legal? Is that good? Wait, what? No. The, 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 hey, hey! That was about the fastest two count I've ever seen. Oh, hey! That's definitely not legal. The no, is this magic killer. Oh, come on. Come on. Hey, what? Hey, is that's not legal. But you, Joe, rang the damn bell. I think Shingo even kicked out. I'm, Certainly, Abe wouldn't ring the bell for this sham of a finish. There you go, Abe saying it. Yeah, the shoulders were down, but Kanemaru's not the referee. Kanemaru's not a referee. Well, certainly, Suji rejects that term of faction leader, but Destino is denied. And now, blast him with the knee. <laughs> And both men, you see the effects. Tetsuya Naito, I'm looking straight at glassy eyes of the champion. Suji, shaken but present. A capacity crowd, 6,632. Shining for both champion and challenger. A new era to be born here tonight, perhaps. As Suji hoists Naito into a brain buster power bomb. I don't know what that move uh, was called. It was devastating. Effective, yes, but perhaps not enough on that cover afterwards to pick up a three. Did Suji go into that corner for his gene blast? Could every, he be lining it up? Every time there is distance, you have to be worried about it because he will close it fast forcefully here we go oh. no suji tried to cover up and he still ate that counter kick and an nz and here we go destino running version has it corriendo destino could this be could this be the end for yota suji right destino no no destino says suji
He got it. He got it, but he can't follow up. And Rudy Destino took just enough out of Suji. Suji, put your name in the books. Put your arm over. He can reach out and touch his destiny. Come on, kid, make it, make it famous. His neck, those shots, the elbows, the